The following video is sponsored by Shenandoah Georgia Youth Science and Technology Center. This is a pickle, but in the hands of a trained mad scientist, it can become a light bulb! Hi, I'm Donald White and welcome to iScience. I have with me Andy Locker today. She is a gifted teacher at Willis Road Elementary School. Today's experiment is the electric pickle. What we have in front of us is a pickle that we're gonna hook up to electricity and pass 120 volts through. And something interesting is gonna happen. Andy, you wanna tell us about what we're gonna see today? Well, the salt and the vinegar inside the pickle act like electrolytes in our body because what they do is they carry our nerve impulses to our, from our muscles up to our brain. And so a lot of athletes swear by drinking pickle juice to refresh their body. It's kind of gross. That sounds really disgusting. But it is really good science. It is good science because electrolytes carry electricity throughout our body. So let's get right to it, Andy. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna plug it in. Before I plug it in, I should tell you, this experiment is extremely dangerous. Do not try this experiment at home. There is an extreme risk of electrocution. Let's do it. Okay, go. Okay, here we go. I hear the sizzle. I hear it sizzling. I see some smoking. There's some bubbling. Awesome! There it goes! Awesome! 120 volts passing through a pickle. The yellow color is from the sodium in the pickle. That is some serious electricity. That is some serious, oh, and that is an awful, awful smell. Yes. Burned pickle is a terrible, terrible smell. This time, we're gonna do it in the dark so you can see the light even better. Well, Ms. Locker, thank you for being with us today to do the uh, electric pickle experiment. Thank you, this was really cool. This is, this is an awesome experiment. And stick around for more awesome experiments on iScience on CowityTV.com. The I in iScience stands for interactive. We produce the show with you in mind. So if you have any questions or demonstrations that you'd like to see, please send me an email and I'll get them on the air for you.